morning, man, behind the scenes. Good morning. It is another excellent day to be in the shop. Yes, it is. You want to tell them about our weather situation out there? So, weather situation is about, uh, well, for a short guy, it's about a foot of snow out there for you. It's probably about two, three inches of snow. But <laughs> the snow is not as bad as the temperature. The, the temperature and, and, and the ice. You know the uh, people up north are making fun of us right now. Yeah, they it's are. like zero is not really cold, <laughs> but it's really cold for yeah. us. So the question is, with you being that much shorter than me, is your temperature is like, is it lower? Like you're, are you in a different uh, weather pattern down there? Yeah, so I'm usually about one to two degrees cooler than what you feel because heat rises. Is that why you so. always have a couple extra layer of clothing on? Exactly, yes. <laughs> All right, can we get back to business? Yes, so we're rebuilding the uh, axle here. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think rebuilding's what we're getting ready to do to this poor thing. Yeah. This is the beginning of the mystery project. Yeah. All right, so uh, I think the reason we've been calling this the mystery build is, is I don't really know how to describe what we're getting ready to build. No, uh, well, we're, we're in the chop shop right We're now. in the chop shop. So it's going to be part lift axle, part brush hog, part broom, <laughs> part new metal. <laughs> should, we, should we tell them what our vision is or well, should we just let them keep watching? That is a good question. Do we just... We'll see how long it takes. Now you, you can't show them the one thing or it'll give it away. Yeah. So you can't yeah. show that. Make sure that ain't in the video here. But yeah, we could just let them go along for the ride and see how long it takes. All right, we'll let them go along for the ride for a little bit. So, yeah. all right, what we need to make happen, we're gonna slip up and tell them what it is at some point. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll play the game as well. So what do you can. need off of this? You what do I need off here? that? Yes. All right, so I need this to be gone. Yep. I need this to be gone. Okay. I need the hub. I need the brake assembly. Yep. I need one chamber and one slack adjuster. So I can cut this one off and save this one? No, I need this okay. one. You just said one, so I'm, I'm just... Gonna, we're gonna have to write, where we got here? Write save on what you want saved. No, I know, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm just kidding. This goes, this goes, this is saved, this goes, this goes, this goes, and then that goes. See, that's clear as mud. Yeah. See, I think that's that spindle welded into that axle right there. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'll give you a hint. It's not going to be a lift axle no more. No. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't going to uh, be one of them unicycle lift axles, huh? Man, I got that welded all the way around there, too. That's going to be fun for you. Is that weld? I think they cheated. No, you know what we see a lot of the times? Look at that. Look at that. Well, that ain't right no... off. That's that silicone weld. Oh, well, here you go. You already got some off right here. Yeah. Cheaters. <laughs> I love that kind of weld. It goes pretty quick. <laughs> That's a carpenter weld. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, basically we need to get... Uh... Saddles off. Yeah, because we're going to use... We're going to use the hub assembly and we're going to use the brake assembly for an adjustment. So I think first things first, uh, this is the far end of it. So I think we need to get this mm -hmm. situated and then we'll move Sounds on. Good. Yep. And uh, our, our hope and a prayer saw horses are still. Yeah, they are. You're going to hear about that. We're going to hear about that. Them things have turned into common generators, but they've also been one of the most reliable things in the world. <laughs> We've tried to smash them. We've tried to burn them. We've tried to run over them. That one's missing half the screws. They're built back in 72. Yeah. They just don't make trees like they used to. No, they don't. All right. <laughs> well, uh, well, let's, uh, I mean, I don't think the trees have changed much. They have. Me and Wade oh, had, they have? Me and Wade had a very lengthy conversation really? about this. Really? Really? And I'm, I'm going to screw this all up, so I'm not even going to say. They're getting a lack of CO2? <laughs> You're going down the wrong rabbit hole there. <laughs> the growth rings have changed due to the rate of harvesting or some BS stuff. I don't know. Yeah. But long story short, lumber is not as dense as it used to be. Hmm. And then we mill it. Well, why are we talking about lumber right yeah. now? Yeah. I'm right. a metal guy. Let's All talk right. about metal. 
so let's fire it up i'm gonna go put them on my real shoes because you like to put your real well you like to throw sparks at me on yeah. purpose and they get yeah. a little hot i got <laughs> i took a shower last night i realized i had like polka dot birds all over my feet <laughs> all right let's do it all right You know, for a change, the heat off that torch feels good. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to use arc gouge unless you have to. You know what? I don't care what you use as long as I don't have to do it. Yeah. I can't believe they welded that thing on in the factory right in our way. Yeah. While Aaron's working on that, we're going to work on stripping some other parts off this old brush hog. Let me show you. All right, guys, this old brush hog here is a blast from the past. A few of you guys that are on this channel may have watched a channel back in the day called Jason Works A Lot. This is a project he built on his channel to run a brush hog on his little mini excavator. He's uh, converted over to a hydraulic drive, running a gearbox, had a little fancy contraption over there long story short somehow i inherited this thing and ended up in my strap pump and we're going to try to scavenge a few parts off of it the main thing we're going to need for what we're doing on the mystery project is that gearbox but we're going to go ahead and save this motor and maybe even this mount as well uh just in case even if we don't use it for this project we might still use it for uh something else so I guess, first things first, we need to figure out how he's got this thing put together. I'm guessing we'll unbolt that motor. Did he weld that on there? What did he do here, folks? You guys see how it's on there? I don't know how it's on there. Well, let's, uh, let's pull a few bolts out here. Looks like a 9 16 and see if we can uh, get that backed off there. Went behind the scenes. That was way more of a challenge than I anticipated. <laughs> oh, you got your aviators back on? I got my aviators back on. I got my the red dog <laughs> beater here. We haven't got a chance to use that thing yet. No, no, just a little bit the other day, but yeah, we're gonna put her to use. All right, well, I hope your, uh, I hope your torsion went better than my, uh, my removing of everything. It's gonna come off there? I'm not gonna say. 
I mean, you got you got a big enough spot to hit there. Yeah. That side's loose. Yeah. Look at that. This side here might be a little tight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's going. Is the red dog gonna get it? It's moving. I don't know. It's that back side there. It's moving. I may have a little bit holding on that. I can't get to it to beat it, Holy cow. Oh, it's hinging around is what it's doing. Yeah. I left a little bit hold on this back side, so I'm just gonna. Man, them sides, them burned off clean, clean. Yeah. Let me, uh. Why, why, why are you bringing so hard far over? <laughs> hey, what? Red dog's a little more than what <laughs> That's gonna clean up better than I thought it was, though. <laughs> Which is encouraging. All right. Let me just skip that. You want you want to have a little oxygen down there first? <laughs> yeah, I need it. There's the fence. That was the first one he uh, cut was being a little overly cautious. All the other ones popped out loose. Well, my mind the scenes all in all, that went extremely well. Mm -hmm. It's almost scary how little weld is holding the axles underneath them trucks going down the road. Yeah. There was more silicone than what there was weld. Yeah, there was. <laughs> I mean, that is, I mean, obviously it works. Huh? Here, here, here. Last saddle we welded to an axle, I did a little more weld than what was on this one. Yeah, I feel pretty I, good with the one I did. Who am I, Judge? All right, I think the next thing we need to do is, is get this hub assembly off this one side i don't know for sure how this is assembled but i'm guessing there is a spindle that slides up in that axle shaft yeah do you think if you can cut that tube around there we can drive that off the I end so. yeah is that our thought That's what we're gonna go with. all right well you've obviously proved this morning you're master torch operator why'd you quit yeah yeah you and your aviators that's right I just stole them, you don't know I've got them. Yeah, he's all stolen today because of the snow. He might be coming after you. Yeah. Oh, he will not be happy. <laughs> Maybe we'll get lucky and he just blows straight through that thing. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and break all this loose right now. All right. The brake assembly on that side is uh, not needed. Rock 
Yeah, yeah somewhere, around, somewhere on that line or somewhere close. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I'm hoping he just blows straight through. Well, looking good. See if we can get that thing to slide out of there. Oh, folks, I think we're going to get lucky. An axle is just thicker than we thought. It's about half inch, but we are back behind the spindle, so. The water that was in the man, that thing is. I never would have guessed that. Yeah, okay, let it drop. Yeah, it's on that pan. I think it'll be fun. Just watch that. I'm just absolutely dumbfounded by how well this is going. That is, uh, that's thick. Yeah. Thicker than I thought. Maybe they do something like crash my drive a truck one yeah. day. That's, uh, that's crazy. All right. I thought that was going to be a whole day project. Hell, it's not even first break yet. Yeah. <laughs> all right, pretty much got the axle stripped down. All the parts we don't need are stripped off of it. Got it set back up on the saw horses. Aaron's working on getting it, uh, cleaned up so we got a blank slate to start with while he's doing that i managed to steal a crane from him we're gonna raise raise the old brush hog up long story short we need to get the blade assembly off this thing hopefully it comes over there with somewhat of ease Somewhat of ease, is that what I'm trying to say? <laughs> Let's get her stood up on the end and see what we can do. Well, easy now, easy. Here's what's going on. This here is the stump jumper. The way these are supposed to work, if you run over a stump, kind of guides the machine up and over it. Obviously, it's a brush hop, so it's got the uh, swing away blades on it, but this whole assembly needs to come off here so we can get that gearbox off. There's a castle nut right there. I've got the cotter pin out of it. Next step is see if we can get the nut to come loose. Hopefully, this whole assembly falls off here. Which, uh, you and I both know that's probably not going to happen, but one step at a time, nuts first. Mm. Well, that come off fairly easy. Find somewhere else to do that. Sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt your train of thought over there. Yeah. I got to figure out how to get this off here now. Then we'll start with a few good smacks right down in there. See what happens. I don't know. 
All right, our new sockets we bought. I was just telling them our new sockets we bought are already coming in handy. Yeah, yeah, I know it. Right off Who would have thought that? I know, especially on this thing. Well, if we wouldn't have bought them, I know a guy we could have borrowed one from. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take the blades off. Oh, we're gonna have to use the new impact there for a second. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to see you use that new impact and hold that camera at the same time. Yeah, way. that's probably not gonna happen unless I want a broken wrist. Oh man, why is everything gotta be stuck? Yeah, are you okay if I go back to grinding? Yeah, you keep doing uh, your thing. You wanna trade yet? You offered to no, trade me no, here a minute no. ago. No, 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 I said, once I get these washed down, you can grind off the metal welds and I'll grind off the caulking welds. And I said, that's fine, but you gotta get the stump jumper off. I didn't hear that part. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ah, yeah, I got my door. guys stump jumper is off that actually come off easier than i thought so these are the four bolts that hold the gearbox on those should come out of there fairly easy so let's uh let's pop those loose i think we'll have this thing stripped down Still making good progress. Still got a little bit of the uh, scrap metal hauled out of the shop. Hopefully you can hear me over here making noise. But the next thing we need to do is remove this shaft from this gearbox. We got to modify the shaft to fit our attachment, and we want to make sure that uh, this gearbox is still in usable shape. So let's disassemble. Well, that's not good. That's... Oh, there's a little bit of oil in there. Supposed to be oil, not water. Well, there is some oil in there. That's, uh, that's a good thing. Well, we got a bunch of pieces. Yeah, got a polar. <laughs> it did have more oil in it than I thought. It also had a lot more water in it than it should have. But, <laughs> you know, the uh, berries and stuff don't look horrible. I mean, for what we're gonna use it for, it'll yeah. be acceptable. We'll I'll see in the work. future. All right, we do gotta modify this shaft, which means we need to get these bearings off there. Um, you got the handle. Handle? I mean, this should go, this should go flawlessly, right? We got this far without any major flying parts. Oh, something moved. Oh, that's getting tight. We going? 
Uh, something's going. I think you're out of stroke, or you're out of your. You've reached your 12 ton max. Oh, why is that so tight? All That's right, what it's doing. Plan B. Well, whenever you can't get both of them, you back up and punt and go one at a time. Yep. Flawless plan. I don't know if we need to get another one off to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm a. I'll take this here, get this out of the way, and uh, you can take a look at it and see. You're you're the machinist. Oh, that's scary. Yeah, it is scary. It is scary. So we've contemplated taking it to a professional, but I think we're gonna. So now you can decide what you want to do there. Oh, you know what? That other one might go. No. No, it goes. It goes that way. So, yeah. Whatever you say. All right, let me play around with this. Make sure I get it chucked up in the lathe. I want it to be the way I want it to be with that bearing on there. Maybe we'll leave that one. Hey, I, I think I figured out why the bearing wouldn't come I off. I told you. Got to take snap ring off first. They do a good job of hiding that thing down in there. Yeah, they do. It's all right. We'll outsmart China for it's over with. That is not the best design either, but. I don't think that's come from. What is King Cutter? Is that Orsland's or tractor or Roll King around here that sells them? Yeah, I believe it's Orsland's. No, it ain't Bombar. Bomb, yeah. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce the new name, which is saying a lot considering the old name was Orsland's, but they have got a lot more stuff in there than the other store did. There we go. Take the easy route, truck. Well, I say the easy route. I almost had it all the way. There we go. I think that's going to go down now, and then we're going to need to press. We going? It went a little bit. I don't want to get too carried away. I don't want to get too carried away on them yeah. threads. We need them. Oh, yeah. look how much easier that comes out now. Yeah. That is crazy. Man, if you'd listen to me about that snap ring I told you was in there. <laughs> All right, disassembly success. All right, man behind the scenes. Now we've got our shaft removed and cleaned up. That can only mean one thing. What's that mean? It's time to modify. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, as you guys can obviously tell, a splined shaft and we need to make this a smooth shaft and a different diameter super simple yeah wow. to uh, to uh, attach our new attachment yeah how long oh. do you think we're going to be able to hold this out before we slip up and tell them what it is <laughs> yeah trust me i wonder it's going to be pretty well figured it out yet i don't know if they have any comment down below yeah all right so while you're doing that you're going to weld those up and i'm going to try to machine them right back down right that's the plan yep now the better job you do welding the less job i have to do machining see, we'll see what happens see what happens, we'll see so. what happens but... all right so while he's doing that i need to make a collar to go around here uh to i don't know how to describe this i don't know how i don't know what i'm doing long story short i need to make a collar to go on there <laughs> and, and this is not a toy this is a tool this is not a toy the first thing i would think whenever they see everything we had is I would think that with an axle and, and the brush hog and everything we had in here, I think it's one of them things. Did you see where they got the chair mounted on it? And oh, and then spins you out. Yeah. No, no, no. You're not going to get dizzy and yeah, puke. So, well, I couldn't do it anyways. I'd be puking my guts up. <laughs> yeah. that's, a, that's like reality virtual. Re or what is that? Uh, instead of VR, that's like real life stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, this is what we're going to do. The piece of metal we're going to make our collar out of. So I need to drill an inch and a half hole in this to match what that is going to be eventually inch and a half so we're going to see if we can get a hole punched in here while he's welding that up and then uh we'll keep piecing this thing together
Playing behind the scenes, we're not going to talk about what it took to get that hole put in there. No, did you give up recording on that? I did give up recording on that because I was getting very frustrated. Even though it was a time lapse, I was getting ready to start cussing. But it's through there. And I got your outer circle drawn here. Yeah. So while you're torching that out, I see your welding went better than my, uh, your welding went better than my uh, machining. Yeah. I'm gonna uh -huh. work on getting that turned down. Yep. And we'll see if we can get that on here. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna promise you guys, one thing I am not is a machinist. So I'm not even gonna try to explain what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna throw you guys in time lapse, let you watch. We're gonna hope it turns out the way we want it to. All right, you ready to see if my, hey, I'll tell you what, man, behind the scenes, I may not be a machinist, but I feel like I'm getting better. Look at that, you can see your welds versus the shaft. See them? Yeah, you sure can. And you can see the penetration. Yep. Isn't that wild? All right, here's a question. Does that fit over top of that? It better. A little, I did not drill that hole, so. A little measuring thing says it should. Like oh, a cough. yeah. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to weld. Well, I'll tell you what, once you open that vise up, we'll turn this thing upside down, that vise. So here's my question. I don't think you want to tighten that down. So I think you want that to sit down tight against my shoulder. Yeah. But do you think it's worth tacking that and then I'll go put it in the lathe and turn it? Because we got a machine to face this flat. Mm -hmm. Put it in the lathe and turn it after you tack it to maybe true it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. I don't know how, but somehow this is working. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad we can't show them the rest of the project. I know. But... The rest of it's pretty cool. I mean, it looks, the gap looks even. All right, tack it. All right. Okay. Okay. I think I'll put two on it. No, because if you put two on it, I won't be able to move it, will I? True. Let's, let's try it. Somebody's gonna comment that I left the uh, chuck key in the lathe, which I did that for comments. Oh yeah. Possibility it drew, yeah. Give me a light tappy tappy, see if I can help you out there. All right. So you too, so yep. You so works out perfect. You know how you get out of this there perfect, you turn the camera on. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. All right, I'm sure we're com we're committing the cardinal sin here. And we covered yeah. up the important part of the lathe and we got this trued up in there. We're gonna yeah. try to tag team this, weld it out. Yeah. 
Are you going to tell me like how fast or slow I need to go? Okay, going this way, right? Going, going that way? Yeah. Okay. Um, just make sure Let me get. you can keep going with it. Okay. Ready? Okay. Yeah. All right. I have my eyes closed. I'm hoping it worked. <laughs> I think it did. Uh, a little splatter, which I don't like. But... All right, man. Behind the scenes, I just realized we got one massive flaw in our plane. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. How are you going to get the bearings on? Cut them in half and stick them back on. <laughs> Beep! <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I feel like you just put this on here. Yeah, that was probably the prettiest weld I've ever done in my life. And there it goes. Uh -huh. Go a little bit more, can I? Yeah. more you think there give it a little tappy tap, tap. yeah see what happens see a line starting up top yep it's coming yeah there look at that um, last time i listened to you you want to put some bears on there and try this again yeah i guess why not sure <laughs> <laughs> I just hope these bearings don't ever go out because we'll have to do this We're again. Gearbox. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it all over again. All right. All right. All right. So I'm sure we're going to get a bunch of comments about this. We know this isn't an ideal scenario to weld the bearings on the shaft. Yeah. But this is a completely experimental project. Yeah. For experimental purposes, this is the route we're going to take. <laughs> but now that you remember to put the bearings on, we'll go back now to Now we'll go back to. Okay. Hopefully this all still fits in the way. All right. Looks like it's going to. Oh, hold on. Now you need your washer. Oh my goodness. Hi ya, hi ya. It's hot. Gotta figure out just the right way to come off there too. Right there. It's a thing of beauty, folks. Oops. Chuck. Chuck. 
Where did the check go? Wherever you put it. It's usually right there, so I get a whole bunch of comments about leaving the check in the lake. Uh -huh. I took it out there. Now you take it out, and now we can't find it. Um, all right. All right. So, uh, since they've already seen this part, we'll just fast forward to the part where we're going to machine after we weld. Yeah. How about that? Let's do that. All right. Good deal. I just wanted to see that well. Yeah, it looks Enter good. In front of how good a job we did turning that up. Holy cow, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That is extremely true. Probably one or two passes is gonna have it. Look at that. <laughs> Pretty good, ain't it? Yeah, it is. I'm gonna reach in there and grab those other ways so I can see. Yeah, go ahead. I watched. I did that one time and ended up ripping my finger almost off. Worked. It did. Second time around. All right. Now what? I need to. We need to measure that distance. Yeah. Make sure we're where we need to be. You want to grab my measuring knife? Yep. Sure will. All right, man. Behind the scenes for not being machinist. That looks very machiney. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take that for the win. So, are we gonna at least show them what goes on there? Yeah, I really wanted to leave it out, but I mean, yeah, I still don't know. But we, we got to show them how well our fit is. Yeah. So at least, at least do that. So. All right. All right. Here we go. Pizza a, saucer. Pizza saucer. It's gonna be one heck of a flying saucer. Yeah. Look at that. Look oh, at that. Yeah, baby. Look at that. All right. Couple that, rookies. I don't think a pro could have got it. I tell you rookies. what, man. That's pretty. Yeah. Uh, now we just gotta hope whenever it goes round and round real fast, it don't wobble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we're just putting the pizza on it, you know. Yeah. yeah I like buddy. it. I like it a lot. All right. It's gonna be nice. All right. We're not gonna t we're not gonna let the cat out of the bag with the rest of this is, and it still involves a lift axle, and it still involves part of a broom, and it still involves a whole lot of other pieces. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna be cool. But I'll only show you this much of it, and probably in the next video we'll fully unveil what our whole vision is. But it's like know. robot wars. Remember the robot wars? Yeah, I was gonna say everything's coming together beautifully, but actually everything came apart beautifully. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything came apart beautifully. <laughs> this is right. like our first going back together now. And it's worked. And it worked. Well, we had the slight little issue with we forgot the bearings, uh, but yeah, there, that was you. All I was doing was plopping the hood down and welding. That's it. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap on this one. They're, uh, they're calling for some nasty weather again next week. Today's actually Friday. We may try to hit one small job Monday. Yeah. And then uh, we're going to be back on this. But this is, if this works, oh, yeah. this is going to be awesome. Yeah. It this, is. Gonna be, this, is, this might be our most Mad Max build yet. Yeah. And it's, it's gonna be, we're going to have to come up with a name for it now. All right. I got a few ideas. We'll let you guys in on the rest <laughs> of the story on the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, big old thumbs up. Want to make sure you don't miss this coming out next. If you haven't already, I consider subscribing because this is going to be worth seeing. Yes, There's a few is. of them out there like this, but I can promise you there will not be one like <laughs> this. Not good. Yeah, this is this is prototype number one, right? Everybody here. tells us we need to get a patent on the top plow. This is what we're going to need to get a patent. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. See you. See you guys.